mandatory barrel rolls for everybody at the end of the first lap and then it's the usual random all madness. I thought starting in the, uh, the sand sea would be a good idea since we've just done a rally race in it. But these people are used to the car so crashes should be... I'm not going to say it. Oh my god, that's a lot of lag. Oh my god, that's a lot of lag. Holy moly. That was absolute carnage back there. I got I got lucky on that. First lap with all of that. Bloody hell. We just gotta survive the first lap, that's what it's all about. We completely we're gonna get a position in this race that's completely decided by the random selection. So first lap's just about not losing too much time. Okay, I'm gonna have to slow down. Barrel rolls for everybody. Oh I almost got it. I actually damn it. I actually corrected the wrong rate the wrong way. into the woods. Police car ruiner. That's not too bad for a first car in a random all. versus a blade, it's a tale as old as time. Well, as old as 2014 when the blade was released. Nah. 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 <laughs> I thought I would give it a second a second try, but no. That's it. It's over. I lost so much time from that. <laughs> I'm not going to keep trying it until I make it, chat, it's not happening. I've, I've done it twice, I failed, I'm good. <laughs> You're lucky you got a second try. Alright, let's get serious, because... Swinger, pretty good car, especially on Project Homecoming without the advanced handling flags. It's beautiful to drive. I wish I wish everybody could experience the swinger like this. Um, but I've had the, the Ruiner as well. There's two scramjets. Oh, it's an absolute mess. Oh, and then I've had pretty decent cars to be fair and I've ruined it I, I, I'm, I'm so far back just because of crashes and trying to do the barrel roll when I didn't need to so, oh rip <laughs> rip bee tree in the lawnmower and Loomis in the, the field master So let's actually let's actually start driving properly, shall we? I mean, my result in this race is completely dependent pretty much on the cars that I get, but the driver can make a little bit of a difference in certain situations. And now we get demon dragged. <laughs> God damn it! I actually had decent cars to start this out. Getting the, the benefit of them. Mm. 
Am I about to be lapped already? This is ridiculous. Let me start getting some supercars. Okay, it fell in. I mean, it's not bad, but... This ain't no supercar. Through the middle? Yes. <laughs> Oh, there's a barrel roll over there as well on the rock. No, we're not trying it before you even ask. I feel like this is my first somewhat clean lap. And Jesus. My best lap before that. I can't believe I've got an F620 police car. <laughs> God damn it. My best lap before that was a 1 minute 11 and in a bog standard felon I done a 1 minute 3. Like that's how bad the previous the first four laps have been. Yeah, this is a hateful police car. <laughs> You need to roll the F620 just to trash it. That's actually not a... No, oh, I could have landed that, really. Liberator. All right. Oh, another lawnmower. Rip, and someone's in the tree. Those trees are very common places to be today. I don't think I got lapped during those last few laps, so... <laughs> Just blocking the track. Just try to come past me. I'm taking up the entire width of the circuit. Look at that care boost on the outside. Through the middle of the golf cart. There we go. Yeah, I don't think this is going to barrel roll. I think, if anything, it will just go straight over it. Okay, I had to correct for that because it was about to go on its uh, on its roof. <laughs> Novak. So we've had the Toros, the Novak. We just need the Rebel GTS during this race and we'll have the top three SUVs and one random all. The SUV Trinity. I did do a little panic on when I put the liberator off of the, the, the jump. They drive so much nicer though, the Toros and the Novak without the advanced flags. In fact, that's three advanced handling flag bouncy cars that I've had so far in the first eight laps. The two SUVs and the Swinger. being reminded how much nicer they are on Project Homecoming. Oh. You see, this sort of car was coming eventually, and this is why I needed to have had a better race in the cars that were actually good, so that this wouldn't be so painful. The leader's just going past the start finish line now. I feel like I'm going to drop off the lead lap on this one. I think 
this is it. I think this is this is getting lapped territory. Leaders in a Presidente V10S. I've managed to. I think I'm going to keep it. It's just coming out of the chicane. The Everon. All right. Still on the lead lap. 16 players are still at. 17 players are still on the lead lap at the minute. So that's pretty substantial. And the leader's in a speedo custom, so surely the Everon's quicker than that. Still chance. We're only just halfway through this race. It could all change. With the top half of the field on the lead lap as well. It could all change. Taipan. How is the Taipan? I always forget how the Taipan performs on Project Homecoming. It's much quicker than on vanilla, right? It's actually been buffed. I mean, it's going 140 miles an hour nearly. So bad on vanilla. <laughs> No, I just couldn't get a little hit that would have made it all work fine. Had to be a 10 around. Still haven't beaten my best lap. This is where I'm very happy. The, there's a lot of straights on this track now that I've got this. Regina Super Sport LMP1 sedan. Look at this. 140 miles an hour in the Regina. I like these Reginas. So much power with everything else on a Regina being the same. Grip, brakes, all that. It's just, it's just fantastic. should do a race entirely of these at one point. So much speed and then into the Benson. <laughs> uh, are people getting CW19s and open wheelers, where's mine? Actually, yeah, we did have a race in the, the Super Speed Regina, I'm sure, at one point. It was on a hills track. I think this is going to be one of those random halls where I'm just, I, I just end up in a bog standard middle of the road. I'm about to lose, lose a lap. There's the leader. Like I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in these 15th positions. Like I just can't get away from 14th, 15th, 16th. Lots of noise going on outside as well. People working on things, cutting things, using machine tools. Like, shut up, man. It's Saturday. Chill out. <laughs> I'm 
Fairness SE Classic, all right. through just top hit him there I think he just didn't turn nice car this this feels uh It was really nice to drive. What did I set that best lap time in? At 101.3? I haven't beaten it yet. No way it was the F620. I even did the barrel roll in the F620 and it wasn't the... Best lap is... I can't, I can't even believe it. Oh, I've got to beat that best lap. I, there's no way I can finish this random all race with the F620 lap being my best lap. That's impossible. I refuse to have it be the case. I'm going to go try hard now. Sneak through all that. <laughs> Tunic seems like he was having a really bad time in that taxi. I am in denial. I don't believe it. I do not believe that the F620 lap was the best. Here we go. RE7B. This is going to destroy the F620's lap. Hyperion behind me seems like it's faster. No, why is it always when I get the good cars? Why do I say things? Why do I say things like this is going to destroy it? Wait, have I missed the check? No. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. How did I even miss that checkpoint? How is it possible to miss that? I went too far around the outside. Oh, this is horrendous. This is absolutely horrendous. Artwix DJ, you've ruined my life. If the F620 ends up still being the best lap time that I get in this race, I'm putting, it, putting the blame entirely on Artwix DJ. Oh, nice. Karolinga's got a good, uh, good roll there. There's only five minutes left. What are the chances I'm actually going to get something decent enough to beat that lap time? That was it? That was the chance? That was the lap? How am I still in 16th after all that, by the way? <laughs> I cannot get away from these middle positions. Bog standard, middle of the road, random all. Get to the chicane first, there we go. Karma for Atwix DJ getting the Sabre GT drag.
Come on, Glendale. did the chicken park on the road <laughs> to piss me off exemplar okay exemplar is quicker than the f620 this is this is an opportunity although I don't know whether they've changed the f6 it was the police F620 as well. So maybe it's like given a buff, maybe that's why it was so quick, but I've got, to, I've got to push it, I've got to give it a try. Might not be quicker on Project Homecoming. Even though it is on vanilla. Come on, come on, come on Exemplar. Push it. Come on. Yes. Oh, that it soothes my soul. Yes. Yes. I'm feeding on your hate. All the noise in the chat and making, it's making me happier. Yes, more, more. <laughs> when he got wrecked by the exemplar all is right with the world on the outside in the phoenix 455 is it 455 or 445 <laughs> it was a good opportunity, it was a good try. That was a, that was important to stay ahead of that pack, I think. This might be a nice lap too. It's coming good right at the end. Still can't get away from 14th, 15th and 16th though. This is absolute middle of the road random all result. But at least the F620 is not going to have the best lap. <laughs> Serrano GT, can I break the one minute barrier? I think Harrow was in the top five the last lap. He did the barrel roll in the Feltzer. I think that was him. My 11th? One position away from a top 10? One lap to go? 
Couldn't break the one minute barrier. Core kit, Grand Sport. Hey, come on. Moonbeam, 7.8 seconds to catch up to a moonbeam in a one minute lap. Oh, that might be tricky. Lock dominated in this one. Chasing down the moonbeam for crimes against GTA class allocation. Oh, is he in it? He's in a drift car. Come on. Top ten hype. I'm going to do it. I lost the top ten from trying to do that. <laughs> Look, you can never, you can never um, blame me for not going the extra mile for that little bit of entertainment. <laughs> that was a that was a top ten in my heart. I just went for the barrel roll for that last little bit of entertainment for you guys. That's all I'm saying. I didn't actually catch up to the moonbeam in the end. Look at my best lap. My best lap was so much slower than everybody else's around me. I just, the best car I had was the RE7B and I didn't really get the good lap in it, I suppose. But, yeah, that was that was such a middle-of-the-road bog-standard random arc. Eh. At least the F620 didn't get the best lap. 